Maconha? Você tem? Maconha que? Maruana. Vendinho. Maruana. Maruana. Ah, não, eu não quero. Você tem? Você tem? Tem aqui para vender. Ah. Oh, não. Agora não. De noite. De noite? Vocês, vocês fumam? Fumam. É, agora? Ah, agora não. Vamos tomar um banzinho agora. De noite, de noite. Dá uma voltinha por aqui. De noite. Mas aquele coisa não faz, não faz perigoso. Não. É bom pra saúde, a maconha. Pra levar a mente. Bora, bora. Valeu, pai. Maruana. Pode ficar à vontade aí. Pode vir de noite, viu? Se quiser. Quer ficar ali? Mora aqui. Mora aqui, eu moro. Mora. Eu posso ver? Pode. Ah, beleza. Bora. Tem um gaiado dormindo aqui aí. Residência. Residência? Residência. Residência. So unfortunately I had to cut the audio due to the copyrights on the music. But I still wanted to show you what it looks like inside the favelas, which is considered to be the slums of Brazil. Now, yeah, it's typically small little block brick houses which are stacked on top of each other like little Lego blocks. And uh, yeah, it's just everywhere as far as you can see. Inside, it's very plain, very basic, you know, got your bathroom, uh, got a television, and uh, yeah, don't know how that guy was sleeping through this loud music because it was booming. Here's the back of the house, as you can see, just like all of it just continues back here. And uh, yeah, I chilled out here with these guys for a little bit. They tried to sell me some drugs, uh, tried to get me to buy them beer, and uh, wanted some cash. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we just agreed to go out on the night. So, uh, shook hands as we're about to make uh, the way deeper into the favelas. Oi, fica tranquilo. Guarda, Bob. Guarda. Tá. Tá dentro, Bob. Vai. Tchau. Oh. Yeah. We've uh, just been invited to a hole tonight. A hole is like a. Uh, is like an outing. Or like a. Uh, you can go out with these guys. Welcome to Barra do Serra, Flavelas in Fortaleza. And we are here on Barra do Serra. So, Barra do Serra is a really mysterious area. I tried looking on the internet for some information, but I could find practically nothing. Now, I find it very strange that the most notorious area in the ninth most dangerous city in the world it's got absolutely no public information it's almost as if they're trying to hide something now a lot of people say that brazil is a very dangerous place and i've been all around the country but thinking back at this day in this place just gives me the chills right out welcome to fortaleza Daqui essa extensão, se você caminhar a pé, vai bater até lá pra dentro assim, e é muito é perigoso. perigoso. Pra você ir. Tem um lugar perigoso? Tem. É, é perigoso, viu? Aí, tu vai andando? Eu vou andar. É, vamos andando. Vamos andando. Então, então, tá. Mas você tem cuidado, é, não vai pegar pela. Do dentro das favelas, você vai mais cuidado. Pela pista. É. Ah, porque é mais seguro. Mais seguro. Mais perigoso, perigoso por dentro da favela. É, é, mais perigoso. Aquele favela lá. Vai cima, vai cima. Lá em cima, lá em cima. Lá em cima, se você for quente essa ladeira assim, dessa se vira, é. Ah. É pra colher um trigo. Aí quando chegar mais lá, de, mais lá na Tebete, você tira assim, um pega a leste, pega a leste. Porque lá é, porque é mais seguro. Tá, pelo menos assim. Hum. Né? Tá. Gostar, bom, foi um prazer. Como é seu nome? Stefan. Nome da Stephanie. <risos> Stephanie, é a minha sobrinha, Stephanie. Pega, é, eu, Maria. Eu... Pega, Maria. Olha a sua água aí, ó, você não esqueceu. Tome. Sim. Obrigado. Valeu. Obrigado, gente. Valeu. Valeu. Tchau, 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 tchau. Valeu, tchau. Tá bem. Tchau, tchau. So, if I had to describe Barra do Serra, I'd say it's this huge favela which they built all along the main road going up the hill. And the people built the favela right up onto the beach. Now, you can kind of break the favela up into three subsections where at the lower parts you find your more well off people, like you can see here. And then going up, you find a fisherman's community full of fishermen, people making a living of fishing. 
and then going more up the hill you start entering the gang zones uh, which is full of narco traffickers and drug lords but the overall feeling that i got from the favela was a feeling of community you know everybody was out and about a lot of people were out in the streets playing games chatting to the neighbors and uh yeah i i think it's kind of sad that you have to go into the darker corners of the world in order to find this but at the same time kind of happy that you can still find it <laughs> Boy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Everyone is falling out. Right. No, 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 no. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Well, to this point, we still haven't spent much time on the beach. Uh, we've been caught up here <laughs> with these uh, with the town people, and uh, yeah, I guess let's make our way. Get our, get our feet wet. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Was that the end of my flip flop? Let's see. Okay. Oh, we are back in business. <sighs> Everywhere. Find these, uh, Deserted boats standing here on the, um, on the edges here by the here by the beach um, outside. And here's some guys. I don't know what they're doing. Looks like they're making a fire. I wonder if they're cooking something. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's the bang. What was it doing? Cobrezinho aqui, queimando fio de cobre. De cobre? Para fazer o é. quê? Para vender, vender o cobre. Para vender? Isso, a gente queima o plástico do fio e vende o cobre. Ah, entendi. Onde você encontrou? Ah, tem instalação antiga. Como? Instalação velha. Estação velha? Isso. Ah, tá. É, olha aí. Tem. De. The flames are like blue and go and and uh, and uh, green. It's like I know it's like a science thing. Like I think science people will tell you better. But uh, when copper burns, it uh, it gives off this green, um, the green this green effect. Quanto quantos reais você vai conseguir por isso? Aí vai dar na faixa de uns 70, 80 reais. Beleza, gente, é boa Beleza. sorte. O que você vai fazer com o dinheiro que você ganhar com isso? Tá bem, comprar algumas coisinhas que, que faltam, algumas coisas. O quê? Um alimento, alguma coisa que necessita em casa, né? Ah, tá. Sempre pagar uma conta, alguma coisa. Ah, tá. Aí já ajuda. Tá. Beleza, amigo. Valeu. Tchau, tchau, valeu. Tchau. So, but yeah, copper's got a high value all around the world. I know in South Africa, back home, they steal the copper cables in mass, and then like the whole district you know, just uh, just uh, gets gets cut off. Bye. This is a pig sty. Those are pigs walking around there. I wanted to say something smells. Rabbit. Yeah. A big roaming there. So after I shot the video, I asked a friend of mine, why would there be big size in the favelas? And he explained, because there are so many gang wars going on in this area, these sometimes casualties and the gangsters feed the dead bodies of the opposing gang to the pigs and in all of the most dangerous favelas around Brazil 
you can find these big stars. They're living here with the pigs. Strange. Well. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think this area over here was that exact area oh. where the woman warned me about earlier not to enter. Um, but at that point, I was so in mind, you know, living, living myself into these oh, moments music. that I didn't realize that the landscape just completely changed and I arrived at the top of the hill. You know the area where all the narco traffickers stay but you can definitely see it you know you can definitely feel the vibe around here everything's different and also the people as well like there was just this eeriness about everyone there everyone's eyes was on me and nobody even responded when i spoke to them More flavellas here on the beachfront. Yeah, these are houses. People are living here. Some of these places look abandoned though. And some of them look occupied. Yeah. Another pig scurrying through the rubbish. The laser. Yeah. This is a. Uh, they built the hood right up to the beach. Like right up to here. It's a. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. And here this pig walking around for an afternoon nap. Yeah. There go the police. And uh yeah, they're just a little bit too late because uh yeah, we were walking down that stretch and we like immediately had to stop the video. There was a guy running with a gun and a sock coming to see what was going on and calling us over. And uh, yeah, whew, was a little bit of a little bit of a scare. Need to stop walking into the flavelas. But yeah, eventually he left and uh, when he realized we were just, uh, you know, walking around and exploring um, and that we were not from other gangs uh, or from a rival gang or police they uh, let us go and we had a nice conversation and and everything but uh yeah but uh it's, it's scary being held up by a gun i don't recommend it stay out of that side of uh Anyway, yeah, what, <laughs> despite all that, we had an interesting walk around here, met some cool people, and uh, yeah, they uh, had some uh, strange experiences with donkeys and whatnot. So, uh, once again, Valeo Fortaleza, Valeo Serra, Valeo Gringo, <laughs> Valeo Brasileiros. Valeu Flavelas. Here we go. Oh.